guys, Greg Fraser here with a new program called The Fraser Method. This is for frontline and uh, first responders. Uh, it's also for you if you happen to see something going on around a situation where it might become violent or you see a crime in action. Today I'm going to talk about the six foot rule because we're all dealing with that right now with the coronavirus. I'm going to explain how it works for your personal awareness, your personal safety. If I'm within somebody's reach, we all have different levels of personal space. You have your first level where it's like the loved ones and your good friends that you can be up on them and hanging on and doing this type of stuff. Your second one is where I'm backed out, I'm sort of within hand reach and this may be a business person or an acquaintance and I'm kind of comfortable, but I'm not really chummy with them. The third position is our six foot rule. I don't really know you and we've become very aware of this with the coronavirus that's going on. Uh, but this sort of six foot radius that we have, I'm gonna show you how you can use this in any situation. So if I'm looking here and I space out basically essentially the width of somebody's stance, all right? And they're coming in within that six foot rule, which is basically a stride plus another half stride, okay? If I've got that going on, I'm looking at it and I'm gonna practice this. I wanna practice this from this sort of distance. Now, to do this move today, we're gonna to go from somebody in coming on you and then I'll have Amy help me with this. This first one, I have somebody approaching. This is their gait, meaning that this is where they're walking in and standing, okay? In the six foot rule, what I wanna do, now I'm gonna actively move forward on this one, is I'm gonna step out just outside of their stance, okay? So whichever way I decide to go, I step out. That's my first thing. As soon as I do that, I should be monitoring any reach. It could be the far arm, it could be here, it's whatever happens to be closest. If they happen to be coming in like a tackle, it may be the head, okay? But what I'm doing here is the first move as I step outside is to monitor somewhere around the watch region, the wrist. Now the second one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a tonsil, garden sal, whichever it depends on the height. But what I'm trying to do is lift or redirect from beyond the elbow, okay? I can do it from just at the elbow connection right here, but I wanna get under, I wanna be able to control the actual elbow here and not the forearm that will just flip around, okay? So as I'm doing this, one, okay? I'm going here, two, or here, or here. Guard's out helps too, okay? But I wanna really rotate their torso. On the third thing, I'm gonna swing, I'm gonna push off, and I'm gonna step behind. See, I did that? So I'm gonna walk into this again. So this is being wheeled towards me. I'll make a drill out of this. First thing, step outside. Second thing, turn. Now when I'm turning, if I'm using my taunts out, that elbow is still coming in. So see how I've got that pressure to stop turning in. The third one, I'm using that C grip coming up, catching and I'm pivoting off, so you're gonna have that pivot turn away, okay? If you're seeing me on this angle, they're approaching me. I step off, turn, boom, all right? Now, if this person just happened to be coming towards me and you're looking at somebody that may be breathing at you, and I look at the space of how that cloud can open up, this is a good way of visualizing self-defense, okay? If I step off and I stay on an angle here, or I step off and stay on an angle here, this person can very easily pivot, tackle me, and this is also in a line where that smoke of the breath is gonna get hold of me. I wanna make sure that as I'm doing it, I'm not just angling off here. That leaves this and this, everything for them to pivot into me to, to get a full attack on. So what I wanna do, is if I'm deciding to move to this side, one, two, okay, I'm out, and I want to move behind. I want to be in a position. Now, if my elbow's out here, and I start to push, 
okay? If I feel that my elbow will be pushed to the side of my body, they're gonna out strengthen me because they're turning with their torso, they're turning with their legs, their hips and everything. So I wanna make sure that if I'm here, that my elbow is positioned inside of my hip. So if he pushes back here, I still have that kickstand and everything there. Again, this is a six foot rule, so this is used when somebody's approaching you, they're approaching me, I'm just creating that space to obey, okay? I don't even have to make contact. Do you see how I'm doing that? I literally, I'm sort of here, sort of coming by. If I'm uncomfortable with somebody, I'm better sort of caught talking to them off to the side. If I've got a situation where I had to make an arrest or you're a security person, that's the same thing. You don't want them spinning on you. You don't want this stuff right now. So as you're going here, anytime. If this person starts to turn back towards me and the elbow is going up towards my face, I'm gonna simply up, move the elbow upwards and towards the rear, and this will cause them to turn and rotate away from you. If from here, okay, if I come in here, one, two, here, and they decide that they're going to drop down low, this palm can pivot capturing Scoop, so it goes from here to here, okay? Right here. And all I do is get in the fold of that elbow, and I drop my elbow down. That pulls them onto their heels and off balance. You'll see this as we do this. So if I'm pulling down, drive that shoulder, that's gonna put them on the heels. Third one is, if I get to this position and I feel them turning, I can step further behind. I can step the pivot behind and still maintain this. Now, if they start turning back this way, that monitoring hand goes over the opposite elbow. He's sliding back here. That's going back to that elbow. I wanna keep myself so that my head is back and out of the way of the person, okay? I don't wanna be out of headbutt. I don't wanna be in spinning range. I wanna maintain myself as close to a six foot radius as possible. Now from here, I can make the decision to take off, get away, or from here, I can engage. So if I'm here and I had to do this, I'm over, I'm coming in one, two, here, okay? I'm behind. Notice how I didn't just stay out here. I step in behind, okay? This gives me that advantage of knowing where they are. Now I can guide them too, I can move them as well. I can immediately go back, take the head back, step down, drop it to the floor, and that's over. Especially if I drop the knee down after, okay? So there's stuff that we can do if I need to, uh, we can get it in, I can dip them back to the shoulders, rotate them to the ground, and then stomp them down that way if I want to be safer for them. So your level of how you turn this in, your application of your jiu-jitsu and your self-defense are all personalized. The principle of this is positioning yourself for safety by your footwork. I'm gonna do it both directions so you can see it. So I'm here, they're coming in, it's approaching me, I step outside, Guide if needed, monitor that hand so it can't get around you. Come under, so I'm doing this, all right? So I'm coming in, I'm swinging. Now, you can do this closed foot thing, all right? But what you really want is a basketball pivot here, and then a small pivot. It's called a swing step, okay? So if I'm here, step out. Turn your hips, okay, depending on how I'm getting here, taunts out, turn the hips, facing the same direction as your opponent, get yourself behind, all right? Again, I can go for all kinds of things from here, okay? They've now given me their back. I can simply hit the hips, sit them down, and do whatever I want, all right? That's your personal self-defense. One more time now, if I'm going to the other side, I'm moving out. Boom, I could strike if necessary, okay? This third one, if I feel that it's becoming a threat, one, two, as I'm in here, this hand can slide for the thumb to the eye, this can go to the eye, this can go to the jaw, okay? Basic things, turn their vision away from you, all right? And then position yourself for safety. I can get out or I can go for finishes from here. So this is what I want to talk to you about, okay? So the first section is, feel that awareness. And you'll have that sometimes where you're just sitting there, you're out in a public area, and you feel like there's a sense. Maybe there's somebody looking at you, 
You're feeling that at that time, usually your senses are good. From that time, you want to sort of position yourself for safety by becoming actively aware. This is your actively aware thing. This person sort of approaching you, you know, rather than meeting it here where they're being up in your face and now like I'm in a, all kinds of problems, they're breathing all over me, spitting all over me, potential headbutt, potential situation. I'm in inside combat zone whenever I'm inside these hips and these shoulders. So my first thing is get the hell out of the combat zone. So when I'm here, I'm just gonna pivot, okay? Boom, boom, I'm out of combat zone. That's where you wanna be, actively aware, okay? And now I position myself further for safety if I would get behind them. And again, you can do whatever you want from there. Now I'm gonna take people in, Amy's gonna come in, we're gonna work on stuff. This is brand new. I don't wanna do this with master martial artists, and we will, but the way this is really functional is if it's designed for the everyday person, okay? So the Fraser Method is something that you can spice up by adding to your self-defense and your style of martial arts, but what I'm gonna show you is positioning. Your footwork is your most important thing to learn, and so here it comes. Thanks for being here.